Welcome back to Mac Music Review. Before we hop into the review, just want to say there's going to be some stuff down in the description if you're interested in how the channel works and what I'm reviewing, how to request an album, all that good stuff down in the description. Today we are going to be looking at the self-titled album from Capital Kings. In case you were wondering, in case you didn't know, Capital Kings is a Christian ED pop EDM group. They've they kind of switched. They kind of did a, a switch up on their second album from uh, pop EDM to like more pure EDM where the, with a really big focus on the EDM music. But the first album is really pop EDM. And um, yeah, this album, the self-titled album is pop EDM. You may know these guys from the remixes they've done for Christian artists like Toby Mac. I know they've remixed a bunch of Toby Mac songs. They've re even remixed Justin Bieber's song. And they've remixed, I think, Brit Nicole. But they're they're like they're in the weird, like un nearly unheard of unheard of genre of Christian remixers and Christian EDM artists. Despite being a pretty small name and not being very well known, they have some big name guest artists on this debut album, on this self-titled debut album, including Toby Mac, legendary Grammy Award winning Christian contemporary music artist. Uh, he's on the song We Belong Is One. And then you also have Brit Nicole, the uh, female Christian pop singer famous for her song gold on the song born to love you also have the other fellow pop edm christian artist royal taylor on living for the other side and you even have a member of family force five which is a really if you know family force five you're cool because they are a super weird they're really weird like it's hard it's it's hard to describe family force five with words but this, like, the lead singer of Family Force 5 is on the last song on this album, The Paradigm. This album is not very big or ambitious at all. It's only 10 tracks long, total 35 minutes. These, all these songs basically could be played on the radio if, if there was a radio market for these kind of songs, but there, there isn't really. Like I already said, I would not call this a pop ED. I mean, I would, I would call this a pop EDM album. I would not call this a pure, real EDM album. The, the songwriting is all from a pop perspective. There's a lot of singing on this. It's more like it's actually not unlike the Chainsmokers. Oh, these guys, I think, came first. 2013? I don't know how long Chainsmokers have been around, but, you know, this is this is a lot of, you know, it's like typical pop songs but then you throw in EDM music, you have a bass drop. But, and then, um, now uh, a lot of pop music has become pop EDM. It's not uncommon for pop music to have these EDM bass drops, but this album, you know, has plenty of EDM music, but also uh, has a lot of things familiar with pop music, a lot of similarities and things that are, you would see in pop music. So it's, it's pop EDM. But then the last song in this album, they hint at being like more strongly EDM focused. Um, the song The Paradigm has barely any lyrics. It's almost all this just crazy EDM music. But that's that's just one of the songs on this album. Most of them are pop EDM songs. Some of the songs in this album are super upbeat and really crazy party songs. Like All the Way, be, We Belong as One, Living for the Other Side, I Feel So Alive in the Paradigm are all just really insane songs. And then you have the songs which are much more poppy and peppy and upbeat and and kind of just, you know, something that, that a teen girl would listen to. Like uh, Never Be Alone, or how, is that how you say it? You'll Never Be Alone, and the song Bring, Bring, No. The song Ready for Home. I am so bad. Looking at my notes the whole time. This is a terrible review. But then you also have the more serious songs on this album. And this album does have a tiny bit of a serious side. With the song Be There. And. Um, Be There and Tell Me. <laughs> Both have much darker music. The music is a lot slower. More dark. And more sad. And much more serious tone. Most of the lyrics on this album are very, very light and careless, 
Most of these songs are literally just party songs, and some of these songs do try to have a good Christian message, but it's so sugar-coated, and it's so light and devoid of any real substance or originality, like on You'll Never Be Alone. It's just, it's just a, a peppy, upbeat song about how you'll never be alone because you're a Christian, and, and something like that. It's, it's goofy. But then you have Be There and Tell Me. Tell Me, he in the chorus, he says, Tell me everything's going to be alright. Tell me everything is going to be fine. Tell me the words I need to survive. So they get pretty serious on this song. And also the song Be There, he's questioning, Will you be there? Will you be there for me? Like questioning maybe someone he's relying on or maybe even God or I don't know. But he's like, Will you be there for me when I need you? And so those songs, and the music is a lot slower and darker, so those songs, much more serious. But then, you know, you also have your just party songs about having a good time and feeling awesome. Literally, I Feel So Alive is about feeling awesome. And then you have the You'll Never Be Alone and Ready For Home, which are just upbeat, positive pop songs with pop messages, Christian pop messages. Honestly, this album is a ton of fun. I'm I'm not going to lie. This thing this this is an this is an album that's very nostalgic for me because it's like it's like the first thing I've ever heard that's even related to EDM music. Is this Christian pop EDM album. And and this really and after this I actually listened to a lot more EDM music by like Dead Mouse and Maddian and not really Shrillix. Shrillix is terrible. But I listened to EDM music after listening to Calvin Harris. I listened to a lot of Calvin Harris. But um yeah. Nostalgia Blast for me, for this album, and I like it a good bit. The song Living for the Other Side, um, The Paradigm, and I Feel So Alive are so stinking awesome. Oh man, I used to I used to ride my bike like as fast as I could at night while listening to this music, and man, my blood pumped so bad. I would go so fast when I was um, like 13 years old, 12 years old. It's the coolest music, man. I still, I still think these songs are really cool, especially Living for the Other Side. That song is a, is a jam. That song is a, is a bop. That song is a, is a banger. That's the word. And then I think the pop songs on this album, uh, You'll Never Be Alone and Ready for Home are just earworms. They just get stuck in your head so hard, so hard to not sing along with these songs, even though... Lyrics are pretty light, and there's not a whole lot of substance. It, it's just the music is so catchy, and the lyrics are so catchy and fun. It'll be stuck in your head for days, man. These songs are just... It's its its not something you can, like, say, Oh, man, I don't want to like these songs. its its You can't really help it. It's just... They're there, and you just... Uh, those songs. As far as the two serious songs go, I'm not a huge fan of be there but tell me is actually has a lot of heart a lot of serious lyrics and a good like it's it's a convincing song the emotion behind the song is is fairly convincing and it's honestly a pretty good song pretty pretty solid lyrics on that song oh but yeah dude this this album just sounds so cool so cool pop edm music man it's cool man Vocally, this album is not super duper impressive. These guys don't have like mind-blowing voices that'll be like, wow, this is the best singer I've ever heard. No, but but the singer, I have literally zero complaints about the singing. Like, even though it's not like remarkable or super original, it it works perfectly with the music and lyrics. I mean, it's it's not like the the vocals don't take anything away from this album. So no, no complaints in far, as far as vocals go. Lyrics, on the other hand, honestly not very good. Honestly, I don't really care. The lyrics are, you know, pretty shallow for the most part. Not not very serious. Not really insightful. Not very clever. Not very original. They are occasionally... The lyrics are kind of fun on some songs. And like the song, Tell Me and Be There do have good lyrics. But for the most part, lyrically, this album isn't much. <laughs> for me, I honestly don't know what other people think about this album. For me, Capital Cut... Capital King's debut album is a ton of fun. This album is a blast. I love the pop music. I love the more aggressive, get your blood pumping songs, the party songs, living for the other side. The paradigm sounds awesome. I mean, yeah. I, 
I, I like this album. Honestly, it's not an amazing album. <laughs> Lyrically, it's not amazing. Uh, I, I'm going to give this thing four stars out of five. It's pretty good. I, I like this album. Yeah, I bet this video is not going to get any views. Nobody, nobody listens to Capital Kings. They're a weird artist. And you know what? This is not the only Capital Kings album I reviewed. And I actually was, was ranting to myself earlier about how, how lazy Capital Kings is. They haven't done anything. They did like, they literally have like not done anything in years. Like they do like one song every five months that's not very good. And then they haven't released an EP or an album since 2015. It's 2019. What are you guys doing? Are you guys like touring with you might be they might be touring with Toby Mac, but they need to make some new music. Come on guys. If you're watching this video, step up your game. Work work a little harder. Not smarter. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Just